Dr. Klaus Rini, I'm an electrophysiologist at St. Mary's. I do device therapies, consists of pacing of various sorts and, and defibrillators. I'd like to thank the donors for supporting this project. I'm personally overjoyed, but I'm really more overjoyed for the program itself and for the patients that we service. What goes on in an operating room where devices are being implanted? We make a pocket where the battery pack is going to sit, then we access the central venous uh, system, and then we put various numbers of leads in various positions of the heart. And to do that, that's where the C-arm comes in. Looking at a C-arm, the external part of it always looks like this. There's a source at the bottom, there's a collector at the top, and it's built as a C so that you can shift it through multiple planes. This is the operating room table. The patient lies here. Then we have electrocardiographic monitoring, which is external ECG monitoring. This is the monitor for the C-arm. And it's on this left-hand screen where we get the X-ray images. We're staring at the screen itself. That's where that's where our action is. The patient, it's like the patient's up there. It's a little bit like a video game. We have one EP lab, and we are utilizing that to to its full capacity. So we need the ability to do devices outside of the EP lab. The portable system gives us the option of working in any room, and the a uh, camera would also allow us potentially to do ablation procedures. What's different about this is this collector is much, much more sensitive so that we can see with less x-ray, much clearer pictures. It makes our job more exciting. We can do more procedures for the patients with, uh, with, with a higher degree of assurance. And, uh, you know, I think it's a big step forward to get this, uh, get this in the heart.